Good afternoon. We are very pleased to have intervened in the United Nations General Assembly. Venezuela has spoken out loud, clearly, defending our sovereignty, defending our right to be free, to um, consolidate our democracy. And of course, we have denounced the worst threat that the world is suffering nowadays, which is the threat against multilateralism. All these organizations, all these organisms, where countries, where member states, in equality of terms, work together, are threatened by the dictatorship of the United States trying to use unilateralism, its only thought. And uh, we have, uh, in the name of our people and of President Nicolás Maduro, we have said that the United Nations and all of the countries have to work together to neutralize, to stop this from happening, to stop the wars, to stop all these uh, uh, crazy uh, intentions of nuclear crisis that has, have to be solved by dialogue, political dialogue. And uh, we hope that all the nuclear weapons disappear from the world. No country should have nuclear weapons. Of course, we said that the podium of the General Assembly Hall has been defiled by President Trump. He came here and he spoke like if he ruled the whole war, when he can difficultly rule his own country. About human rights, we have always, we have always been no, questioned by the United States. Vice President Penn said that uh, Venezuela or Cuba shouldn't be in the United States Council of Human Rights. The only country that shouldn't be in the, hum in the Human Rights Council is the United States. It violates human rights all over the world, not only with wars, with bombs, with suffering, with illegal prisons, with torture. It's incredible. And it in the United States, we have always we, we, we have also read a list of violations to the human rights in its own country, especially against the poor, especially against the Afro-American communities, the immigrants, the construction of walls uh, to, you know, to separate the United States, to isolate the United States from Mexico and uh, from the rest of the world. As we said, Venezuela works for peace. We are helping Colombia in its negotiations with the uh, guerrilla groups. We did with the FARC. We're doing it with the Ejército de Liberación Nacional, and we will continue doing it. We also uh, congratulated, and, and uh, we are very grateful to the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, because he's working with us, with Guyana, with uh, good offices in order to look uh, for a satisfactory um, a solution for both parts in the framework of the Geneva Agreement. And about climate change as well. Uh, the United States is, is going out, is trying to retire from the uh, Paris uh, Treaty. That's hostile to the rest of the world. It's a very bad signal to the islands and countries that have suffered the hurricanes, one, two, three, four, five hurricanes, one after the other. Uh, very close to New York and that uh, uh, the Prime Ministers of Dominica or, or of Antigua and Barbuda came and said they are putting the victims, uh, their people are dying in a war that they did not start and they do not belong to. It's a war of the capitalist system against our mother nature and that's why we have to stop it. And about Venezuela's democracy, we have held 22 elections in 18 years. We are having elections of governors next October the 15th. We have elections of mayors uh, the first uh, three months of uh, next year. We have presidential election in December next year. We have to, uh, in referendum, we have to approve uh, the new constitutional um, uh, word text. So no one can say that Venezuela is not 
a democracy. The United States attacks us constantly. Yesterday there was, there was a new aggression uh, about uh, all these visas for the diplomats and their families. Um, you know, with, with, with the Arab countries and North Korea. This is a strategy, unfounded strategy to soften the public opinion and to try to make a case against Venezuela. And we do not discard even a military intervention, as President Trump said. We're looking for dialogue. We're looking for channels with the government, with the administration of Mr. Trump. We have to stop the madness and the ir irrationality. And here is a sovereign country building its own socialist democracy. And we are open to have a dialogue, but if we are attacked, we will respond in the same field in which we are attacked. We hope it never happens again. So that's essentially what we said. And of course, the NAM, the Non-Alliant Movement, approved a very important declaration, the New York political declaration condemning uh, the unilateral coercive measures against the country's 120 um, member states, two-thirds of the General Assembly um, uh, uh, agreed in this declaration, and it's a very important signal against not only the government of the United States, but other governments in the world with supremacist arrogance that uh, uh, want or seemed to rule the world. Thank you very much. What would you say, it's Pamela Fox, CBS News, what would you say specifically about the travel ban and are you sending a message to President Trump that President Maduro would like to speak to him directly? President Maduro has always been open to dialogue with President Trump and with any president of this world. Siempre que haya relaciones de respeto mutuo. Sin embargo, vemos una agresión tras otra del gobierno, de este gobierno. Aunque ya comenzó esto con el gobierno del presidente Barack Obama. ¿no? El 9 de marzo del año 2015 se declaró a Venezuela una amenaza inusual y extraordinaria para la seguridad nacional de los Estados Unidos. Semejante argumento absurdo. ¿no? Y bueno, eso abrió las puertas para que ahora este gobierno extremista, supremacista, ataque permanentemente a Venezuela. Y a pesar de ello, la diplomacia bolivariana de paz se fundamenta en el diálogo. Agotaremos todas las instancias de diálogo y ojalá que surja algún vocero, alguna puerta que se abra para poder decir la verdad. Ojalá el presidente Maduro pudiese visitar al presidente Trump. Ojalá yo pudiese hablar con el secretario de Estado. Hasta ahora no ha sido posible, pero nuestra voluntad está aquí. Pero insisto, si nos atacan en el campo que sea, responderemos con fuerza en la defensa de nuestra patria y de nuestro pueblo en el campo que sea. Y estas últimas sanciones solo son uh, unas pretendidas sanciones más eh, para justificar, para armar un expediente en la opinión pública contra Venezuela, para ponernos a nivel de otros problemas superiores que no tienen ningún sentido y que tratan es de confundirlos ustedes, señores de los medios de comunicación, para que ustedes a su vez, en un proceso de alienación mediática, confundan al pueblo estadounidense. Señor canciller, señor canciller, Jorge Gestoso de Telesur. Usted dijo que la ONU es la casa de la paz, que fue profanada, irrespetada y ofendida, califica y denuncia el descaro y la hipocresía política del presidente Trump, el unilateralismo dictatorial, y le pide o espera que las Naciones Unidas, dice usted, puedan neutralizar estas medidas coercitivas de Estados Unidos. No está, según los analistas, en la casa equivocada porque... Naciones Unidas pasó a ser un instrumento a través del Consejo de Seguridad de Estados Unidos para seguir sancionando a Venezuela y es eh, un tanto eh, inocente pensar que lo van a ayudar acá. El multilateralismo ha impedido muchas guerras, ha neutralizado muchos intentos de agresión y nosotros creemos firmemente en ello y en los principios de la Carta de Naciones Unidas. Quienes están en la casa equivocada son los gobiernos como el gobierno de Estados Unidos, que incluso en nuestra opinión no cumplen con los más elementales criterios para pertenecer a Naciones Unidas, ya que no respetan ni el más elemental artículo y principio de su carta fundacional. De manera que es a ellos que habría que preguntarles por qué insisten en pertenecer y en dañar a las Naciones Unidas y en ofender a Naciones Unidas si no creen en el multilateralismo. Sí, 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 sí,
a los foros internacionales para seguir denunciando estas sanciones y estas medidas de Estados Unidos? Absolutamente. Donde podamos denunciarlo, lo vamos a denunciar, y como hemos dicho, con mucha firmeza, pero siempre con el corazón abierto para el diálogo. El pueblo de Estados Unidos es nuestro amigo. Nosotros queremos, admiramos y respetamos los aportes que en cultura, que en ciencia, que en organización social este pueblo le ha dado a la humanidad. Ahora su élite gobernante y especialmente esta élite gobernante supremacista, eh, racista, está atacando en primer lugar al pueblo de Estados Unidos. Pero además como efecto colateral, así que es un término que le gusta mucho a, a los guerreristas en el mundo, afectan a pueblos como el venezolano. Could you, uh, in English, respond to this question, please? Um, President Trump, in his speech, uh, talked about what he viewed as the failure of socialism, and that actually your uh, yes. Venezuela's uh, economic performance demonstrates the failure of the socialist ideology. Could you comment on that, please? Thank you. That's uh, very sad because, you know, those ideological differences nowadays have no sense. We have to respect each model. We have to respect the principles of the United Nations. Capitalism is the system that is destroying the whole world, that is almost uh, uh, trying to disappear humanity in the world. We have a socialist proposal. We don't believe in capitalism. But President Trump, as uh, Richard Nixon, as Joseph McCarthy, is, is trying to um, re resuscitate the Cold War against Venezuela, against Cuba, and that's unacceptable. No, those times are over. We have to look to the future. The world is in trouble. The, the climate um, change is bringing a lot of trouble to many countries in the world. We don't want wars. We don't want different ideologies to separate each uh, country from the other. We have to get together in order to help the nations and the peoples of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bien, escuchamos las declaraciones que en vivo y en directo acaba de ofrecer el canciller de la República, Jorge Arreaza. Algunos...